So we're encouraged to watch out for sin and to pray. When we're tempted, we need to trust God who is just to forgive us for our sins. Scripture says, when we're tempted, don't give in, don't sin, but when you do, you have an advocate, Jesus Christ our Lord, who died for your sins. So in conclusion, I got one question, maybe one question. How do you really want to live? How do you really want to live? Do you really want to do what's right? Do you really want to please God? Listen, life may be hard for you, but if you truly love God and you want to live to please Him, life will be better. It'll be a whole lot better than living to please your own chaotic emotions or your own stubborn mind. God loves you more than you love yourself. But you have to trust Him. And you have to trust His Word more than you trust anyone or anything, even yourself, who really has your best interest at heart. It's not even you. Uh-uh. God. He's the one who has your best interest at heart. And He wants to save you, to live with Him forever through faith in His Son. God wants your faith to prove to be real. Don't you? Don't you? We're going to have an invitation hymn this morning. And it's the opportunity you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. To say, yes, Jesus, I believe in you and I trust you. I trust you not only with my life here and now, but I trust you with my life for eternity. If you want to trust in Jesus, then you need to come forward, accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Have your sins washed away and receive the gift of repentance or the forgiveness, rather, of repentance and the gift of the Holy Spirit. It takes a little repentance a whole lot of repentance for some of us. If you need to come, come. Randy. We have a change to our invitation hymn. It'll be 484, Jesus I Come. We'll sing all four verses. Jesus, I come, 484, let's all stand.